What is beach erosion? Beach erosion is the actual removal of sand from a beach to deeper water offshore or alongside into inlets, tidal shoals, or bays. Another name for beach erosion is coastal erosion. Beach erosion is a natural process. The EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, estimates that 80 to 90 percent of the beaches have been eroding for decades. Beach erosion is both episodic and sporadic. Episodic meaning there is a variety in length of beach erosion. For example, some erosions only takes hours during a hurricane or some tropical storm, while sometimes beach erosion might take a whole season, like for example an El Nino season in California. Sporadic meaning the rate at which beaches erodes varies. Some areas have severe erosion during an event, while other areas have much less erosion. In many cases, individual beaches only lose a few inches per year. But in Louisiana, the outer coast is losing 50 some feet of beach every year. There are many concerns in the topic of beach erosion. One of the main concerns is the effects of climate change. Climate change gives a rise in sea levels due to the melting of polar ice caps which then increases the rate of beach erosion across the world. Climate change not only gives a rise in sea levels, but also increases the severity and possibly the frequency of harsh storms which will have an effect on coastal erosion. These coastal storms supply the energy to do the geological work by moving the sand off and along the beach. Therefore, beaches are greatly influenced by the frequency and magnitude of storms along a particular shoreline. Humans also has an effect on coastal erosion. To prevent flooding and to store water, government builds dams and other coastal structures. These structures do more harm than good over the long term. Dams store sediments, keeping them from nourishing and replenishing beaches. With little sand flowing to coastal areas, beaches starts to disappear. Some coastal structures like groins and sea walls designed to limit erosion cause increased erosion in the long term. Groins and other structures designed to limit sand transport along a beach holds the sands and beaches down the beach are starved of sand. Sea walls are other man-made structures that influences beach erosion. Sea walls designed to impede erosion leads to greater erosion. Sand in front of the wall gradually erodes away and eventually waves reach the wall. When the waves reflect off the wall, they create turbulence, leading to faster erosion undercutting the wall. Navigation channels also cut through barrier islands and disturb sediment transport along the island, leading to erosion in some areas and beach growth in other areas. Destruction of coastal vegetation also affect beach erosion. Destruction of coastal vegetation, including mangroves, leads to faster erosion rates. These structures provide short-term solutions, but long-term problems. Since coastal erosion is a natural process, it is not possible to stop this erosion completely. Only global cooling or some other major geomorphic change will stop it altogether. Even though this process cannot be completely stopped, it can be slowed. Humans can lower their greenhouse gas emissions, which then can lower global warming and reduce climate change. Beach nourishment is another thing we can do. Beach nourishment is a process in which sand is dredged from offshore sources and deposited along vanishing beaches. This process may be effective, but it is really expensive. In the 1980s, Miami spent $65 million adding sand to a 10-mile stretch of fast eroding shoreline. Yeah, you heard it, $65 million for a 10-mile strip of beach. 
Another system that really works is the water collection system found in Virginia Beach in which this system carries storm water from street drains into the Atlantic Ocean. This is how the process works. First, runoff water is collected with the typical street system of inlets and pipes. Second, the runoff is rooted to a massive 10-foot diameter transmission and storage pipe beneath the broadwalk. Third, it enters a large wet well that serves to slow water and pump chamber. Then, from the wet well, the runoff water is pumped through ocean outfall pipes that extend nearly 2,000 feet offshore. At other times, a blower is also used to blow sand through a pipeline from an offshore underwater deposits into a dewatering basin. In Waikiki, Hawaii, one blower was not enough to move a sufficient volume of sand through the entire pipeline. So they used a second blower to blow a greater volume of sand all the way to the Royal Hawaiian. Some beach replenishment projects alters the way the waves hit the beach. This affects surfing, which then affects tourism attraction to these beaches, which is an economic disadvantage. In conclusion, Beach erosion is a natural process that wears away sand into deeper water. This process cannot be stopped, but can be slowed.